Texas tees up the ball as we get ready for the opening kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Gets to about the 27-yard line. He makes his way out to about the 35. the stop at about the 39 yard line. Brad, you can really feel and sense the energy coming from the sidelines right now. They know how important it is to pick up first downs. And the coaches right now are showing the excitement that they have and yelling out the next play for the offense, but clearly the offense coordinator very happy about the execution on that last play. And down he goes at midfield. That's great execution. The quarterback made a nice throw and the receiver was able to go up and make the play. The offensive line got a really good push there, allowing the back to pick up nine on the play. That brings up second and Here we go, here we go. Green, 15, 20. Go. Nice run there. So they go on the ground and pick up another first down. They are stringing together a nice little drive here. If they keep this up, it'll be hard to keep them out of the end zone. From the 36-yard line, kill, kill, kill. first down. And they push him out at about the 35. Under pressure. Tackle around the 35-yard line. the catch and look out they'll bring him down around the 21 yard line impressive game there by the do it all back and that sets them up with a first and goal The thing about the option is you're going to have some negative plays. But if you keep running it, it'll create some big play opportunities. And this is the 12th play of the drive. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. the toughness here by this quarterback of sitting in until the last second trying to make a play downfield only to have this defense get to him. He's got to do a better job maybe feeling things out a little bit but at least he has the awareness and a toughness to sit in that pocket. And it is good. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right there. Oklahoma lines up for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. The Longhorns have shown over the course of the season that they want to get this guy the football, but you can't just go to him every play. Well, on the road, you especially want to take the crowd out of the game, and the one guy you know who can do it is this wide receiver. The problem you have is this defense, more often than not, is going to be a line to take him out of the game. And that, to your point, Brad, that's where somebody's going to have to step up, whether it's the running game, some of the other receivers. You're going to have to take some of the pressure off of him and really make it a team effort to be able to win this game on the road. Fumble, loose ball, and the defense 
Lawrence picks it up to the 20, the 10. Touchdown, big play. It always makes you nervous anytime a defender tries to pick up a fumble and run with it instead of just falling on it. But man, did it work out for him here for a big time play in the score. And he hits the PAT. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. And they can forget about returning this one. Well, let's see if the offense can make up for the misfortune they had just a few moments ago. I know as a quarterback, it's always hard to watch the defense score a touchdown on you. But it was always a reminder to take extra care of the football. the right side. That's good for the game, seven yards. First down. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Pass incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. Terrific coverage, and when you clog up passing lanes like that, you can force a quarterback to make some poor decisions. Almost got themselves a turnover, too. From their own 40-yard line. It's second down. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. Complete, and that wasn't the greatest pass in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. From the 15, knocked out of bounds at the 22. Got to give some applause to the defense. They really came out playing strong today. Well, you know better than me, Brad. It, this college football game is about emotion. And to be able to play great defense in the college game, you've got to come out and play with your hair on fire. And we've seen that from both of these defenses so far. That's a great tackle at the 47. Well, you give up too many passes like that, and the game will be done before you know it. They cannot let these receivers get behind them. Brought down at about the 31. around the 31-yard line. Makes the first down catch. He's tackled at the 15-yard line. Strike and he drops it. From the 15 yard line, second down. Black five, black five, go, blue four. Caught open field. And he 
converts the extra point. A nice seven play, 77 yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well executed touchdown drive. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. The Sooners have found a way to shut this offense down, but hey, it's still early in a football game. Yeah, give them a lot of credit for the way they've played up to this point, but just based on watching these teams and preparing for this game, do not be surprised to see this offense eventually find itself and start to execute much better. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. He makes it to the 28-yard line. So at the end of one quarter, the Sooners lead 17-0. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. Three down, three down. Mike 20, Mike 20, Mike 20. Here we go, here we go. Hey, oh, oh, oh. Quick throw out to the receiver. And he's tackled at the 49-yard line. Besides going deep on the fade, the slant route is probably the most commonly run route against man coverage. If the receiver gets a good inside release, it'll be a new set of downs every time. And off, and he's met immediately. Good job by the defense to overpower the offensive line and drop the back for a loss. Second and 13 coming up here. Ball on their own 48. And they've got the dime package in there to try and deal with this five receiver look. And he got it to the sophomore. He's pushed out of bounds. The 39-yard line. Quick out to his receiver. And he's taken down at the 29-yard line. Defensive coordinator anticipating this five-wide set, and he comes in with his dime package. He's going to try and scramble. He's taken down at the eight-yard line. That's another first down, Brad. And right now, you can just really feel and sense the rhythm that this offense is in. Their ability to pick up first downs, just pushing this defense further and further down, back deep into their own territory. Finds his receiver. Touchdown. And he adds the extra point. A seven-play, 76-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead, and on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Catches it, and he's looking for more. He might have a chance. Tackled after a decent pickup. A nice seven-yard gain on the option keeper. That makes it second and two. And he carries the ball for a nice game. This is so difficult to defend. This is a perfect illustration of how to run the option, and it was perfect enough to get the first right there. Darts it to the right. And he hits him hard at the 35. Makes it out to maybe the 33-yard line. That's a game of two. Zero, zero, Mike, 
Three. That makes it second and eight. Let's go, D. Check, check. Makes it out to about the 19. First and 10. Ball on the 19-yard line. He fights forward to about the 16. Three-yard gain by the running back. Yeah, it was a short gain, but a nice tackle there by the senior corner who came in from the outside and made a nice play. Ten. Nice play to set up first and goal. Throws incomplete. This is the tenth play of this drive. That brings up second and goal. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. And they make the stop at the one yard line. Five wide. Now he tries to buy some time. He's knocked out of bounds right around the two-yard line. Can the defense make a stop? Fourth down and goal to go. We're at the one-yard line. Throws to the receiver, got it for the touchdown. He fired it out to his wide receiver, who made the grab and got the score. When this guy's got time to throw, he makes the defense pay. You talk about a clutch play. They couldn't afford any mistakes on fourth down there. He makes the PAT, a 12-play, 75-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. And they can forget about returning this one. This is my kind of game. We're getting a chance to see so many touchdowns. I just wonder if this offense can continue the flow that we've seen from the previous three series. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. He gets rid of this one. From their own 25-yard line, second down. Gets it, he's in space. He gets hit out of bounds at the 36-yard line. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Going deep. Oh, and he can't hold on. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 36. Tackles him hard at the 30-yard line. That's a loss of six yards. That makes it third and 15. the 27 and they back up three yards on that play pretty good stand there they weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call certainly they don't have the return on here booming kick 
He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. The Sooners are just cruising through this first half, Herbie. Really a comfortable lead here. Yep, but still a lot of football left to be played. they got to remember that it's a four-quarter game, and even though that first half went pretty well, things can change in a hurry. The offense will come out again hoping to have similar results as their last drive. This quarterback right now is in a rhythm, and a lot of that has to do with his preparation. You can see right now with the reads that he's being able to make, getting the football out of his hands, that he's feeling very, very confident in his ability to throw the football against this defense. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 41. played the snap count perfectly. He found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. And that'll be three and out. Everybody up close. It looks like they're coming after this kick. The Longhorns struggling trying to get their star wide receiver in this game. And sometimes, you know, Herbie, it's almost like a jump shooter in basketball. Get him to the free throw line. Get him one free one from 15 feet and see how he can do. they got to get the ball in his hand somehow. I agree with you 100%. I mean, it's just... A matter of just one play, one touch could get this guy going because he has that kind of ability. And up to this point, they've not been able to find a way to get him the ball. Give credit, a lot of credit to this defense for coming in with a good plan. But now it's up to the offense to make their own adjustments to kind of counter that attack by this defense to be able to get the, the ball into the hands of their go-to guy. He's under some heat. And he's sacked. Back-to-back -back sacks. These hits take a toll on a quarterback physically and psychologically. The blockers have got to do a better job of taking care of them. Oklahoma's out of timeout. Just a good showing on all three downs by the defense. That should fire them up. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. Tackle made at the 31-yard line. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. And down he goes at the 42. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. Boy, Brad, this guy drops an interception. And what's ironic about that from going to the meetings the other day is that this guy's been telling the coaches he wants to play some wide receiver. You wonder why you're not playing wide receiver? Because you can't catch the ball as a defensive back. And they got him. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. So the sack makes this third and very long. Roger, Roger. Zero, zero, Mike three. You don't want that, baby. You don't want that. Hey, hey, you don't well, we've played a half of football. The Sooners lead it by 17. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 halftime show presented by Nissan. Innovation. That excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Those big fellas on the offensive line, they always think they don't get enough credit. They say we never give them any love in the studio. Love. And we're giving <laughs> them some, but we're going to give a little bit some. to the quarterback, too. Just, just some, huh? Just some. Okay. I, look, they're doing a great job up front, David. I, I think the quarterback also is doing a great job at getting rid of the football and, and really just playing the game very wisely. He's managing the game wisely. Yeah, and there's, you don't get sacks when you throw the football away, which is smart. And and also just feeling where the rush is coming from and being able to step up into the pocket, deliver a nice strike. How about, too, when 
when guys are coming to get you and they, they get their paws on you, but you slip out of the play and you end up making a big play down the field. So, yeah, the linemen don't get enough credit, but also those quarterbacks, they can make those O-linemen look pretty good sometimes. That'll do it here in the studio at halftime. We'll try to see if Pollock can bring a little energy in the second half. Got a lot of games to watch, including yours. Brad and Kirk, ready for the second half. All right, Reese David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Oklahoma's the type of team, when you look at them, it looks like their defense sort of just feeds off itself. I think the energy is there, Brad, but I think it really starts up front with their defensive line and their linebackers, the way they're being able to just win the battle at the line of scrimmage. I think it's giving them confidence, and it's allowing them to play more downhill where they can attack this offense. Here's an opening. And he's level at the 39. He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. a great tackle at the 42-yard line. Good, solid defense there to force them into a fourth down situation. Oh, excellent punt. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. And they get nice yardage on that run. He's tackled right around the 26-yard line. Here they come. Brought down the 37-yard line. It's second down now, 13 to go. Ball on the 34-yard line. Mike three, Mike black five. He gets sacked on the play. intelligent play by the defender. All you have to do sometimes is get your hand on the ball. From the 10-yard line, 
Second down. One yard loss for the halfback. That makes us third and goal. It's the ninth play of the drive. And he shoved out of bounds at the one. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. Red two, go! Touchdown, Sooners. The halfback just plowed his way into the end zone. Yeah, but it wasn't all him. The offensive lineman just pancaked the defense on that one. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. The Longhorns are just falling apart in this quarter. I mean, are there any positives you can even use to motivate the team right now? Well, as bad as it looks and feels right now, there's still over a quarter of football to be played. You just got to forget about the mistakes try to get a little bit of momentum created and get confidence back in this quarterback being able to make plays for it. And they get the sack. That makes four sacks today. Well, this speed is difficult to defend because you have to try to keep them off balance so they can't use their quickness. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Taken down right around the 24 yard line. Fires complete over the middle. That makes it third and 11. Red two, blue four. Go. They knock it down, incomplete. So fourth down coming up. And give credit to the defense there. They played very disciplined and were able to break up the pass. He really got a hold of that one. He's to the 40, and he makes it out to about the 41-yard line. Made a few guys miss on his way to a quality return. Last time out, they were able to pick up big chunks of yards through the air. You wonder if they'll go back to that same strategy or will they start to lean a little bit more on their ground game. Makes it out to about the 50. They'll bring him down at the 45. The defense was just all over that play. It didn't fool anybody. From their own 45-yard line, it's third down. He scrambled, decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. Tackle made right around the 46-yard line. That makes it first and ten. He's taken down at about the 31. That is a loss of two yards. That'll bring up second and 12. Second down and 12. Ball on the 33. Green nine, green nine. Pulls down the catch and he's got room here. And they make the stop at the 26 yard line. So at the end of three, the Sooners lead 
31-7. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're play. back to the action. Can't they even let you play. Mike three, Mike three, Dog four, Green nine, Hit. Green nine. Hit. Scrambling around. Now he's going to run and watch out. And down he goes. Right around the 20. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 20. And he's hit immediately. That makes it second and two. We're at play number nine of this current drive. He's on the run, looking for the corner, diving for extra yardage. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Pitch out. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. This is the 11th play of this drive. The defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime to counter that five wide receiver set. And it's almost picked off. You don't want to ever give your opponent a second chance. But that's exactly what they did by not making that interception. The defense has really held their own the last two plays. Now it's third and goal from the seven. Here we go, here we go. Maybe three yards that time on the pass. The defense respects this guy and knows they have to pay a lot of attention to him. He didn't have any room after that catch. The kick is up, and it's good. Oklahoma, yet set to kick this one away. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Sooners have really been all over the place. They're playing like a defense possessed. I love to watch a defense just pin its ears back and just fly to the football. They are playing with a reckless attitude, and it's really paid off because it's set up their offense to be able to score points. I don't expect any once-in-a-lifetime rallies here, but that being said, we could still see some exciting plays. Passes to the back, incomplete. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Quick strike to the receiver. Tackle right around the 38-yard line. That makes it first and ten. And they've got all their DBs in there to match up against the five wide set. Kill, kill, kill! There's a strike complete, and they push him out around the 44-yard line. Six yards that time on the pass play. You get six yards, and that makes picking up a first down very reasonable. First down grab by the receiver, and he tackles him hard at the 45-yard line. Less than three minutes in the game. Caught out in the open. He's tackled around the 33-yard line. Number 20 with the tackle at the 33-yard line. They come out on an empty backfield. Caught open field. Brought down at the 16-yard line. And 
he just gets rid of it. From the 16-yard line, second down. The sub package in there defensively in this five-wide receiver set. Caught it, but they're going to lose yards. He was tackled immediately. And they back up three yards on that play. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. That'll make it third or third. This is the ninth play of this drive. The screen pass goes nowhere. Well, you're going to take your hat off to the defense. All week, they preached over and over again how they were not going to let this kid use his speed in the open field, and they really shut him down that time. Steps up. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. Number two on the tactical at the one yard line. That makes it first and goal. Hey, kill, kill, kill! Touchdown, Longhorns. So they run the option to perfection for the score. It's a great job by the quarterback to read the defense. He made a nice pitch to the running back, let him go in for six. And he adds the extra point. Tackled at the 38. Oklahoma has proven to be the better team in every facet of this football game. Boy, their defense has played lights out. Their offense is taking advantage of their opportunities. Everything has led them to a very comfortable lead. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. He's into the open field. Good outside run there. He keeps it on the option and picks up maybe four. That makes, that makes it, it second, second and six. six. From the 34-yard line, it's second down. A little over a minute in the game. Black five, black five. Number 26, the ball for the And he's taken down at the 24-yard line. From the 24-yard line, first down. Mike three, Mike three. Dog four, the seven red. Here's an opening. Makes it out to about the 10. And this one's all but wrapped up with the final score, 34-14, Sooner. Let's get Kirk Herbstreit's final thoughts on this one. Herbie, what do you got for us? They've talked about the rivalry all week long, and for good reason. We saw the intensity down on the field every play, and it showed us why these teams love to hate each other. It'll be interesting to see how this game carries over the next time they play. brings this broadcast to a close. Free A Sports, Kirk Herb Street. I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.